Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today what we're going to be doing for you guys is showing you guys the best heist comp across every single map right now in Brawl Stars. So as you guys know, Penny's turret is absolutely insane. It got that buff and that buff primarily helps a lot in Siege. So you're obviously going to be seeing Penny in a lot of the Siege maps. To be honest, I think she's the greatest mid in all of the Siege maps. And then you throw in the fact that you need a Barley on basically every map. Just because Barley gives really good middle control and Barley is an absolute unit when it comes to that offensive attack. So when you, get, when you mix the Penny and the Barley, you already have a really, really good core of two of the, uh, basically just two of the best siege brawlers in the game right now on top of the fact that you don't even need to have the bot to do damage because barley can chuck a super as you're going to see what we're going to be doing in the games and penny can throw his turret or sorry her turret inside the uh the ike area i guess where the ike can shoot it down and just damage the ike basically consistently throughout the entire game now on the on the other side it's a little bit more of matchup dependent i mean if you're facing a tank you want to obviously have a spike on your team if you're facing like a spike or something ranged or even a barley, you might want to have a Carl. But the best all-around lane to deal with every other lane would be a spike, which is why we're going to be having a spike as our lane. So literally in every single map, if you run this, you're basically guaranteed to have the best comp. Now, obviously with different maps, it does change. And for example, barley might not be as, in a, as good as a map where like Rico specializes in, for example. But basically throughout the board, in all of the siege maps, this is the comp you want to run. So without further ado, let's hop into that first game and let's let it rip. Okay, so here we go into our first game and somehow we're facing a triple penny comp. So that's going to be pretty brutal. We're going to be on Brawl TV for our first game. Now this is actually going to be super tough because they can do a ton of damage without even getting a bot. So we're going to be able to take out... That first penny over there, Patchy's going to be able to take out the second penny in the mid. What we're going to be doing is just getting our super, going to this part, and like I said earlier in the intro, you can just chuck it towards the safe. Now it's going to hit like 9 out of 10 times and do 10% every time. So we're going to be able to take out that penny. You can see Patchy has his turret set up over, not in a very offensive position, but offensive enough to be able to tap people coming out of this, um, sorry, out of their spawn. So you can see also when it breaks, it's going to tap the save. So even before we've actually gone to bot, we already have 32% done to the save. So it looks like the pennies have had enough of facing a barley, so they're going to move off of our lane. But basically at this point, we have a really solid attack. And as long as the barley can stay protected and we can either have a penny or a spike on the save, we likely will be able to one push it. So let's see what happens here. We're going to be able to get our super again. So we're just going to chuck it right onto the save. Obviously, we don't want to stand behind this bot because it's going to be able... We're facing triple penny, so it's just going to kill us with the coins. But we're going to be able to get a pretty easy one push, and that is going to be the end of the first game. Okay, so here we go into the second game, and we're actually facing a pretty solid team here. We're facing Keenan, Pepe, and Haz. All of them have had tournament experience or high ladder experience. This is definitely going to be a good one. They're also playing brawlers that our comp doesn't do fairly well against, so it's going to be a very, very interesting game. Uh, Carl does counter Spike and Barley a tad, so it's obviously going to be tough to work against this Carl. But so far, we're doing a fairly good job. Patchy's going to come over and help out. Again, we're like kind of tying with Keenan. We're probably winning by a little bit right now, at least in damage done to the brawler, but no one has been able to pick up any form of position so far. It is pretty tough for a Barley to win against that Carl. So you can see we're doing a fairly good job. He's pretty close to being dead. There's nowhere really for him to go besides that mid. Haz is going to be taken down and Keenan is going to go down. So we're going to go right up here. There's going to be no siege this round. We're just going to chuck this towards the safe. Or sorry, towards the Ike. We're going to be able to kill Haz fairly easily over there. I don't really know what he was doing. Looks like Patchy went down to Pepe. We should be able to get that kill. Okay, we're not going to be able to, but we're going to be able to just walk right up here and use our super again, just keeping an eye on Keenan so we don't die here. Okay, we're going to be able to get that kill. So we've done 20% on our own, basically. We're just going to throw this over here to be able to take that one to take out their penny turret. But yeah, we haven't had the bot. We've just been basically shooting our supers on the safe, and that's how we've done all of our damage so far. Again, we're going to be able to tap Keenan. I don't know if that one's going to hit. Okay, we're just going to barely hit. That was pretty lucky. But anyways, we still got Pepe right on us. This isn't a very good position to be in against the BB, so we're going to go down. It was one shot, but we've done a ton of damage. As I've said, the Penny and the Barley do a lot of damage. So even before we have our first bot uh, onto the field or onto the map or whatever, 
we already have 44% done. So Pippi's just going to come right beside us. We're going to be able to get that easy, easy kill. Has is just in the middle, so he's going to go down to Patchy. We're going to chuck our super on the safe again. Again, it's like 9 out of 10 hit rate, and we haven't missed one yet, but there is a possibility it misses, which obviously isn't the best. Uh, we're not in the greatest area right now, just because we're behind that turret, and Has is using that, that uh, coin damage to hurt us. Keenan is also right here. He probably should have taken that shot. He didn't, and that will likely cost them the game, and we're going to be able to go 2-0 and oh so far. Okay, so here we go into our next game. Sorry, I was muted on the mic, so I wasn't able to, uh, to talk. I had to unmute. But anyways, we're going to be going up lane against Penny. So Penny, obviously not the easiest lane for us, but it's not going to be extremely difficult. They do have a Frank, so it's basically a mirror comp, except they got that Frank instead of the Spike. Uh, he is going to go down to Patchy over there, and it looks like we're going to be able to win this lane. I'm not too sure. But we do have this advantage of the wall, obviously. Hopefully we can hit that Frank, get that super down on the save. The Frank's going to spin. Uh, he is in my band, Omen Bobby, right now. So it is pretty OP that we are facing him. But anyways, we're doing a really good job holding him off. He can't really do anything as long as we're staying behind the walls. Uh, we're going to get our super again, and we got the first siege boss. We already have 18% down. I'm just going to walk right back into this corner. Get the super off on the safe again. Hopefully it hits. Okay, it is going to hit. Okay, hopefully we don't get hit over there. We do get hit one time by that barley. And we're not going to worry about the barley too much. We're just going to chuck our shots towards the uh, towards the Ike. We probably will be able to one push, but it's going to be a little bit close. Yeah, we're not going to be able to, I think. Yeah, okay, 9% left on the safe. So that's just throwing one penny super or one barley super onto the safe. Okay, so the Penny Turret exploding actually got it to 1%, wow. So we're, we're looking pretty good at this point. There's not much that they can do. The Frank's going to super. I don't think I'm in the range yet. So we're fine. We're not in that range over there. We're just going to super to get this Frank kind of out of here. Okay, he's just going to chase us. I don't know what ended it. It was probably patchy, but anyways, that's going to end the game. So that's our third straight win. We're just absolutely dominating so far. We'll do one more game just so we can see if we can go 4 0. But again, you guys definitely want to run this comp. You guys can see the ease at which we're just beating other top players. So definitely be playing this comp all across Siege. Okay, so here we go into our fourth and final game. And we're actually going to be facing the same team that we did last time. So that's super interesting. Um, that the matchmaking did this, especially since we're only in it for like 30 seconds or something. Usually if you face the same team twice in a row, it's because there's nobody out. There's just literally nobody else in your trophy range that the game can put you with, so they just put you with the same team over and over, but I don't think that's the case. So we're having a pretty even Barley fight. I'm pretty sure we're at basically the same health. He does have a little bit more than I do. Um, I'm going to move up over here. I'm pretty sure he's just auto-aiming, to be honest, because every one of his shots seem to be a little bit short. Uh, but so far, he is actually winning the lane, so credits to him. Patchy did a really good job pinching and helping me out. He's just going to throw his uh, turret in there and be able to get a lot of shots off onto that Ike. As you guys can see, a lot of damage was done. Going to get my super off. And really good play by this Barley so far. Uh, he's doing a pretty good job at holding down the lane. We are in a pretty aggro position on him now, so now we're starting to pick it up and do a better job. But he is playing very well, so we're going to just help take out that Penny turret, and we're actually going to be able to take out the Penny as well, which is pretty huge. We almost just got hit by that Penny shot, actually. Well, we would have died to that, so that would not have been good for the push. Anyways, we're going to move up over here and get our shots off. They have a pretty good defensive comp, so it's going to be a little bit tough, but there's a potential chance that we one push. Wow, we actually were able to do so. I did not think we we're going to be even close to that one push. Okay, so that was a super, super short game. And I don't want to leave you guys with all these short games, so let's just hop into a fifth game, and this one will be our final game of the day. Okay, so here we go into our fifth and final game. Now, this is a super, super good team. You got Slash over here. We have, um, I forgot who it was besides Slash, to be honest, but I saw some really good names. Oh, right, we got Tyrant Star. Tyrant Star is an absolute beast of a player. Definitely a top three Barley in the game, so it's a shame we didn't get to face him on Barley matchup because that would have been a really, really good and fun matchup to have for the video. 
but they're doing a good job so far. They're up 2-1 in the bolts. Uh, this Barley looks like he's playing a little bit aggressive, so we're just going to... You know, we're just going to be able to beat him in that lane pretty easily. Um, it's very dependent on where this bolt spawns, but we did just get super, super lucky as it spawned in our lane, which I had full control of, so we're able just to get that bolt, and we're going to be able to get the first bot. So as you guys can see, when it's a more competitive game, you can't more or less just be throwing your penny turret and throwing your supers onto the safe, as, as I say that, Apache's doing it. But it, only if you're pushed up really far, you're going to have the opportunity to barley super and like use your penny super on the safe to do damage while you don't have the bot. So obviously don't waste your supers too much if it's a close game and you don't have a really big lead because it's not going to work out for you very well. Uh, we have Slash kind of trapped over there along with the BB. I think we're able to kill both of them, yeah. So they're both going to go down over there. Uh, us and Patch are going to be able to take out their Barley and we're just going to get a couple good shots on the safe and do a pretty good amount of damage. So obviously that Penny Turret's going to break, it's going to do some good damage. We just need two more supers in order to win the game from myself or Patchy. Gonna just play in a really aggro position so we can get as many hits as possible. Patchy's gonna shoot his super into the zone, and at this point, I think I'm just gonna walk up and ch try and chuck three shots at the safe. Okay, we only needed two. I thought we needed three, but anyways, that's gonna end the game. So that was only a minute and a half. Another short one, I know, but that's gonna be it. So this is just showing you guys again against the top team. They have two players over 700 in a 613 barley. Um, it just shows how good this comp really is. So make sure you guys are running this comp. And let me know the success you guys have it have with it in the comment section below. That's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace.